So it's my pleasure to introduce my colleague from ARC India, who you should be very familiar with, Ganapathy Raman, uh, country manager, ARC India. So Raman has been heading the ARC India operations since June 2012, and his responsibilities include supporting the global offices in, in preparation of market research reports worldwide, regional, and India-specific, uh, organizing uh, this forum, and also um, heavily involved in sales and technical promotions in the areas of uh, automation and enterprise. Um, Raman handles and nurtures analyst relationships with domestic and global clients. Additionally, he collaborates with industry organizations such as some of the ones you saw this morning, NASCOM, um, CIA, ISA, and uh, as well as many media relationships. So this afternoon, um, Raman will be delivering a presentation. The title of that is Managing Major Automation Projects to Drive Business Value. So let me welcome uh, Raman on stage. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my presentation will not be more than about 12 to 14 minutes. I'm just going to get through some concepts of uh, how the major automation projects, projects, how they have changed the direction to derive more business value nowadays. Shivaram talked quite a lot about uh, going down to SMEs. Now I'm lifting you people up to go into the concepts of major automation projects. If you take any projects today, major automation projects, you have uh, greenfield projects, you have the brownfield projects. Someone mentioned in the morning, greenfield projects, yes, you can put all your concepts of IoT, but then brownfield projects, you have a challenge of managing the projects and maintaining upgrades. In the presentation slide, uh, my president mentioned in North America, many plants are very old, 20 years, 30 years. See, he made a statement that if you want to see new projects, you have to go to China. Maybe I can add it. If you want to see new projects, people can come to India. But that's not true when you come to look at North American projects, whether it is refineries or cogeneration or power plants. Many of them are 30 years old. So that's a challenge across the globe. It's not that India has only new projects, India also has a lot of old projects, so it's a big challenge what decisions you take as a concept, because my presentation is going to drive on, drill down on concepts than actual hardware or software. If you look at the green field, well, it looks comfortable. You have no installed base, so you can start fresh thinking. Then you talk brown field, you have existing automation, you have worry of continuous upgradation. Automation in a new field, you have opportunities to design. You can do engineering, you can do purchase. You can adapt the new technologies, new processes to the new site operations and business environment. Come to the brown field, almost the issues are same. If you look at the automation has to be designed again, automation has to be engineered, automation has to be purchased, automation has to be installed, restarted up. But the difference is you need to match all these automation requirements to the existing site operations and existing business. So, so you have a challenge in both the sites, almost similar, but then they are not that similar. If you took any modern business operation, you always, we always start, we always think about the plant and plant. So we need to put technologies in the plant. And then, Suddenly you realize you're not planned your supply chain. You suddenly realize that you're not made the end-to-end -end solution. So now the scenario is changing from looking at only technology and building a plant to managing the entire business process and connecting systems and people internally and externally in a very collaborative way. So this is a big challenge today to remain connected, connecting people internally and externally in a very collaborative way, including your sub-suppliers, suppliers, everyone, everything. So you need to automate the entire process, okay? So whether it is a brown field or green field, the challenge is same. If you look at many installed DCS that I talked about in my speech, as well as by my president, you have many old control systems. So that 
really doesn't help you running the plant. In last year, we had a, a presentation by one of the fertilizer plant. He said he has been successfully running pneumatic plant for 30 years or 35 years. When he, when he migrated to a DCS system, he realized that they should have upgraded 25 years back. So, so that is a very classic example presented in this forum last year. So if you don't keep upgrading technologies and the processes, you're going to lose opportunities of improving and ensuring the plant availability keeps increasing. So what we used to do, or we still do many places, we are always concentrated about technology. We are worried about the, what sort of hardware and software we buy. From that point, the, my president mentioned that ARC started propagating what is known as collaborative process automation system. And then we started the, this concept about a decade back. Recently, we published a collaborative process automation version 3.0, where the business and the technology are getting integrated. And as you can see the comment, the functions in the past were distributed apart. Many application systems, they are now available in two systems, business and automation. And the good thing is there are a lot of automation players who can support the systems entirely. If you look at any asset, whether it's the brownfield or greenfield, the issues are same. You need to plan, you need to design, you need to procure, you need to build. When you come to wind up, you need to operate, you need to maintain, and then after some time you need to retire and recycle, maybe 20 years down the line. So you have design phase. When you look at design phase, there's a huge pressure on cutting down the design time. So you have a, all the time you are under tremendous pressure to cut down the design time. And then the present scenario, if you listen to our keeping track of ARC presentation, you would have seen, you would have seen whether it is a brown field or green field, almost every utility spends a lot of time in design phase because design phase more or less controls the cost of the project. While making a layout, or it is mechanical or everything, the design phase decides. And as someone mentioned, the concept of making prototypes are gone physically. You make it virtual. So the virtual concepts helps in making the designs more adaptable and more realistic before you actually build the plants. When you come to the wind dump, so the design phase may be 18 months, maybe six months, maybe 24 months, depends on the project cycle, what you take. When you come to wind dump, you need to run the plant for 25 years. So your pressure is on continuous improvement. You need to manage changes continuously happening at site with or without design team support. And then you need to keep doing incremental migrations. So that makes it, you need to keep focusing on Continuous improvement as the most important parameter when you have to do a o and for 25 years. So that's a huge challenge. So what is the concept of a main automation contractor as per definition of ARC? So these are all some of the building blocks, what you see in the screen. So you have the process control systems, you have the analytical systems, you have the analytical systems, you have field instruments automation design engineering, you have the plant, service security. ERC defines a main automation contractor as a company that provides a central point of coordination and responsibility for all aspects of an automation project. So what is main automation contractor responsible for? So if you take a plant as a whole, so if you look at EPC, you have process designs, you have the mechanical designs, you have the geotechnical, you have civil, you have plant layouts, piping, electrical, instrumentation. So as per ARC's definition, the MAC focuses on instrumentation controls. The process control design, the instrumentation engineering, automation electrical integration, and manufacturing operations management. So what people used to look at the right side of the architecture as the main focus, now changes to the total business. You can't be running the plants you can't be doing new or older plants if you don't have a business focus, not only looking at technology of DCS or a PLC or what will be the size of it. So what are the benefits of our, this main automation contractor for large projects? It helps in shortening the delivery times and reduces the time to start up, reduce project com complexity and manages design changes. MAC becomes a single point responsibility to the customer 
a better integrated system from the instrumentation through control to production management. So many functions, processes, technologies, often from different sources of supply, need to be integrated to provide a modern automation systems. So this becomes the prime responsibility of the main automation contractor. So what are the advantages? In simple terms, if you get involved in the design phase through the main automation contractor at the early stage, so you find the costs are under control and the time is in control. And then you start looking at these things at the later point of time, no early involvement, so it's going to counterbalance the investment time and the investment time what you have spent. This is my last slide. So look at the cost. So look at the breakups, what is here, the mechanical or piping or whatever it is. Look at the C and I, or DCS. Last year, uh, I think the last forums, uh, NTPC mentioned the instrumentation costs around 4%. F uh, DCM Shiram mentioned the DCS for a fertilizer plant is about 2%. But then, ARC looks at it. If you don't invest this time properly, you lose an opportunity of getting a huge benefit of 15 to 30% when the actual plant runs. So what I'm trying to tell, though the investment cost for instrumentation controls for the main automation contractor is only about 4 to 2%, well implemented automation solutions enable the plants to gain as much as 15 to 30%. So ladies and gentlemen, be prepared to invest the time so that the automation project execution helps the operations in a much better way and don't look at only the, the just cost of the automation. Thank you for the time.